Hello everybody, welcome to Healthy Habits. Today we'll be talking about health tips to improve memory for any age. When you hit the age of 45, memory loss at this point can be prevalent depending on how you've been treating your body and mind. It's easy to get caught up in the present and forget about what the future holds. So if you're eager to find out what you should be doing right now to improve your memory, subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload next, and let's get straight into the video. Number one, make the information meaningful. Many people tend to struggle with retaining important information because it comes out unclear and confusing. This mostly happens to students. Setting yourself up with more creative or fun topics and bullet points is beneficial since your brain is drawn towards things that are more interesting or show more satisfaction than something that's boring and dull. Associating the information you have to something you already know, rhythms, patterns, and substitutions will be great ways in giving something more meaning. Number two, repetition. Every time you read something, your brain trains itself to make new connections. By repeating something, either out loud or written down, your brain puts these connections into your short-term memory, which then transfers to long-term memory by sleep. Spaced repetition is a very effective way to retain and gain long-term memory. This creates a deeper level of processing of learned information rather than cramming everything in your brain all at once just to forget within hours. If you're practicing lines for an interview, an ideal routine would be to go over it a few times one day, a few times the next day, maybe three days after that, and then a week later to really fortify your brain with the knowledge, allowing the information to stay intact. Number three, getting organized. If your home or workspace is cluttered in disarray, then you're more prone to forget and lose track of ideas. Writing down appointments, events, and tasks in a notebook, planner, or calendar would be examples of being organized. Limit distractions and don't do too many things at once since keeping focus on a few things will help your brain retain the information and remember it later. Number four, managing a healthy diet. A diet that's healthy for you can be as good for you as it is for your heart. Try including low fat protein sources such as beans, fish, and skinless poultry. What you choose to drink is also a factor to a good memory. Alcohol, for instance, can lead to confusion and memory loss. Coffee, tea, and water are some of the most effective and used drinks that are consumed before stepping into a work environment since it wakes you up and keeps you going throughout the day. Food is the fuel to your body. It increases and improves brain power, enhancing overall health and quality of life. So the better you eat, the more effective and efficient your brain is willing to work. Number five, getting better sleep. Sleep is an important role in consolidating your memories so you can recall them later down the road. When you sleep, your body may be resting, but your brain is making connections between the routines you partake in, feelings, and memories. Taking a nap during the day can even help you remember things faster and better, especially after just learning something. This is when those short-term memories form into long-term memories, allowing you to retain the memories for a much longer time. Most adults need seven to nine hours of sleep to get the benefits of brain performance. So when you lack the sleep you need, you tend to forget more often or your attention span grows slim. Number six, exercise. Studies showed that when 144 people aged 19 to 93 partook in a bout of a 15 minute stationary bike ride, there was an improvement in performance and memory across all ages. Exercise may increase the growth and development of neurons, leading to an upgrade in brain health. Regular exercise during your midlife is also associated with decreasing the risk of developing dementia later in your life. Aerobic exercises like walking, dancing, swimming, cycling, and using gym machines get your heart and sweat glands pumping, which appears to boost the size of the hippocampus. This will be the area involved in verbal memory and learning. It takes action and effort to keep your brain in great condition, but it's definitely worth it. Try finding a procedure that helps with the way you find it more advantageous and take care of your future self as long as your present self. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload next, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.